Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 3 Mage Edition. Today we're going to be going to the Cathedral of the Deep, but not before I go and do something rather important. One, I want to make sure I've gotten everything from Yuria first, because she's about to be killed by a cane-shaped object. Probably not physically though, but <laughs> she's going to die soon. <laughs> Why, Barak? Why are you going to kill this girl? Well, mainly just because she's there and she's going to leave if I don't, and I want everything I can get. <laughs> I'm not a nice man. It's at times. Okay, I've gotten everything I can from where I maxed out on poison throwing knives. And you might be wondering, Bark, why do you have a hundred something thousand souls just kind of sitting there? Because nothing in Dark Souls is ever truly free. At least I can't imagine it is. I've never done this, but I'd imagine you have to pay for all the things you just leveled up with, so... What was the point of this? Nothing much. Other than, I guess, to show off the hollowing mechanic. <laughs> the lore reason I'm gonna give for this is that Veronica will take power, but she's smart enough to figure a way out of it. Unlike Kalos, who just kind of stayed hollow the whole game. Ashen One, this is... much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. Now, before you do this, I think I said last time, this will tick off Yuria. She will probably, I think she leaves permanently. I don't think you ever see her again. So if you want what she has, I think after you do this, you gotta kill her. I think there used to be a glitch where if you did this while you're hollow, you couldn't actually be unhollowed because you couldn't have the, 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 the hollowing purging stones, but I think they fixed that glitch since. 87,000 souls. I was not off by a whole lot. No, sir. I was like, should I do this last round of co-op? Nah. Good thing I did. <laughs> All right, well, time to take off Yuria. You don't tell me what to do, Yuria. And now she's going to give me an earful. Probably, I don't know if she'll take a swing at me or not. She may well, but I doubt it. To just take a swing at me, but I'm sure she'll give me an earful here. Let's go see what she has to say. How you doing? Thus forsworn the Lord's mark. There is not more to say. Farewell, our fleeting lord. Huh. I was hoping you'd, uh... I'd be a little more mad so I'd have more reason to do this, but, uh... Yeah, I'm going to kill you now. Where are thy wits? I ain't got any. No, one knows that. no he doesn't. And he never will, because he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Catch me if you can. Oh god. <laughs> this is a very cheap way of doing this, I have a feeling. But uh, I don't think she'll actually go over here. If she does, oh crap. If she does, I'd be surprised. Nope. <laughs> Holy crap, woman. I'm just gonna bleed her out. Make her just waste a ton of stuff. <laughs> You'll notice she's using a dark hand. It usually means someone's not on the up and up, usually. I can just burn through this all day, honey. <laughs> you only have so many Estus. This is so cheesing it. Right in the face. I mean, you're gonna run out of Estus before I will. <laughs> Dear. Dear, you gotta come up with a better strategy than just eating it in the face. Dear. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Yes, you did. Hor horrifically. He would be ashamed of you. If you weren't dead, I would tell you to just go ahead and <laughs> kick off this life. But, oh well, she's already dead. So I got the ashes. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, how many? I don't think I've ever gotten these ashes. I assume that means I can just, like, buy what she had. Oh, what is that? I'm sure an ashen one such as thee would never indulge such base contrivances. <laughs> Did she just I think she just basically accused me of killing a person. She's right, by the way. But yeah, you can buy I guess you can buy purging stones with this. Huh. Never mind, I guess you can buy them afterwards. I guess I was stupid. Anyway, I've just been dumping souls into green blossoms just because I can. 
Anyway, I whoops, I forget. I'm going to be going to Cathedral of the Deep. So to facilitate not dying in there, I need to redo my my ah, Estus because I am in co-op mode right now. So no. So four and four. Hopefully, is a decent Pretty. compromise. And do I have any bone shards? I don't think I do. I don't know where that'd be under anyway, but I don't think I see any. <laughs> which which brings me to my next point. I probably should see what I can transpose because I haven't really looked so far, and there might be some spells I've just kind of overlooked here. Uh -huh. Let's see, Boulder Heave. That is that. Uh, that just sounds awful. <laughs> no. Crystal Sage's Rapier. Good god, 18 dexterity. No. <laughs> the one thing I do like about it though is it does give you a it does give you item discovery. So if you are farming, I think it gives you like what 50 or 100. It's a nice little chunk, so unless you really want apparently Crystal Hail, I would probably recommend you get the Rapier, but on this character, I don't know. I might try Crystal Hail. It looks like it might suck. Anyway, off to the Cathedral of the Deep we go. I think I'm going to have a little bit of a problem before the second bonfire. Uh, the, the the main one, I forget what it's called now, but... Hopefully you know what I'm talking about, because there's a crap load of dogs right, like, right up to that. Like, I think at least two, I think three, and... Hopefully this s stock of mine will be able to keep my butt alive. I'm tempted to just try and use Fair and Flash Sword as like the my default melee, but that's a lot of MP or FP to do that. I do love it though. I do love my Fair and Flash Sword. So let's get on, keep on. Oh wait, before we go, <laughs> might need this, and I don't need that. I would rather have what I need here. Hmm. It's either health or I don't think I need fire resist. I guess I'll just take the extra little bit of health and just do this. Okay then. Now that we've gotten ourselves somewhat min max, let's get going. Let's see how this goes. I don't even know if you can be invaded here. I don't think you can. I can't put my sign down. Let's not jump down into the abyss. That's probably not a good idea. Oh jeez, I almost fell into it. Okay, now this one, you can't actually jump into the cage. You should be able to tell that just because there's like... Oh! Just because there's like a bunch of stuff in it. But, uh, yeah. They never really put up much of a fight. I don't know if that thing always drops twinkling. I don't think... I didn't think it did. Maybe it does. I'll just do this. Uh, man, that extra, intel that extra intelligence really kicks that uh, Great Heavy Solar up a notch, doesn't it? That is nice. Like, I'm not- I'm doing as much damage on Kallus, on Veronica right now. Or, I'm doing the same amount of damage on Veronica as I normally would on Kallus, is what I'm trying to say. I did set it very poorly, but... Like, Kallus does, like, 500 damage. She's doing, like, what, 460? <laughs> That's pretty comparable, in my experience, and we're not even halfway through the game yet. Of course, I'm, you know, basically a, a, a paper- I'm as durable as a paper towel, or, you know, tissue paper, but... You know, details, right? I mean, details. You are really slow. <laughs> you can just skip all these. It's not particularly difficult to do so. But, I mean, you do lose out on the Herald stuff, which is kinda nice. It's, as I recall, it's lightning resist was just a terrible. <laughs> That's about all I remember about it. It's lightning resist was terrible. Everything else is fairly decent. I mean, to be fair, you don't really need lightning resist until you get to Nameless King, I don't think, so... I mean, there's that. And now we're actually in Cathedral of the Deep proper. I could probably start being invaded at this point, but I don't look for very many, if maybe one. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I can totally just cheese this. <laughs> hey, how you doing over there? Having a good day? Oh, well, you're not gonna have one- Oh, for God's sake, don't break lock on- Why did you break lock on? You- No, don't break it this time. Oh, for God's sake, you just break it to be a dick now. S sir? Sir? Oh, God, didn't you have a... I forgot you had a throwing knife. Oh, that's kookery. That's not a throwing knife. <laughs> just leave me alone. I said leave me alone. There you go. I don't think he respawns. I think that's just guarding the Paladin's Ashes, if I recall. Which gives you the Lloyd's Talismans, which you need to farm the Mimics. 
So this is fairly important to get down here. It's very easy to miss, as you might be able to tell. I never missed it, just because I somehow found my way and I remember where it was, because it's ashes, but... Okay. Now for the next little test, which I think is the Gauntlet of Dogs. And then the first bonfire. Which seems rather inconsistently placed, but I think that's the way it goes. Can you, like, lock on? Well, I'm pretty sure I got better. I gave better than I got there. Could you stop throwing that? I'm, I can win this exchange all day. <laughs> what did we learn? I don't think he learned anything. Nobody ever does learn anything in this series. They just kind of die. This is not an intellectual game series. Okay, now, the, I will just say one thing. Keep to the left here. If you don't keep to the left here, good luck. I went the first, I went the regular way the first time. I don't know how I lived through it, to be honest. Because there's like four or five archers up there, and then just dogs everywhere. Oh, there's a dog there. Get over here. Pooch. Pooch. Pooch for the pooch. Oh. Oh, good God. You don't have health left. Why did I just quote, my name is Bruce? I don't know. Oh, good God. Oh, you jerk. Just moving like that. Where's the other dog at? I hear it. Oh, there he is. He's above me. Would you get down here, you stupid animal? Get down here. Freaking jerk off. All right, fine. I'll go this way then. Oh, great. You are here. Well, you're easy to take care of. <laughs> There's the dog. No. Well, I guess that dog will work too. <laughs> That's right, you will. Come over here. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that? All right. This should be rather easy now. I thought that was going to be a lot harder than it was, but I guess I was just being a little too cautious. I did get chipped a few times, to be fair, but, I mean... No. I don't think this is even worth coming over here. <laughs> no, not really. How did someone die here? I don't mean that in a rude way. I just wonder how someone died here. I, I, think, he did, I think he underestimated the archers or the dogs. One thing I've learned in this series, never underestimate the weakest of opponents. Because the moment you do, they will kill you. I can't tell you how many times I've died to a freaking hollow in the freaking, like, high wall of, not high wall, low, Rick. uh, what's the, what's that place in Dark Souls 1? The Castle Town, I think? Oh man. Those things hit deceptively hard in Dark Souls 1. And don't do what I did the first time and just go, that door probably won't open. Because it totally will. <laughs> My first time through here, I did not open this door. I so, I know somebody's gonna go, good god, how'd you get to the second bonfire then? I don't know. I just kinda did. <laughs> I'm surprised there's summon signs here for as high a level as I am, holy crap, but uh, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I'm not summoning them though, but... Oh great, I'm invaded. Oh uh, yeah, yeah I'm invaded. Oh, I'll summon somebody if I'm invaded, screw it. <laughs> All right, let's see where the hell they are. I have no idea where the hell this person is. Normally, I don't summon for invasions unless the guy just hides behind a bunch of enemies. So, I've, let's just see how this goes. If he if he comes right at me, I'll only summon the one. If he goes and hides among the big horde of zombies, then it's a different story. Hello. Just trying to keep an eye on my back here while I do this. What the hell? Okay, well, there's a blue sentinel here. That's great. Oh, he's here. Yay. He, he's just like, screw it, I'm going to find it. Oh, all right, I guess we can play it this way if you want. I can't believe he just got hit by a sorcery, to be honest. Oh, man. You want to see where this goes? I mean, if you want to sit back there, we can... Oh, uh, well. you think a 3v1, we'd at least be able to do something here. I got a blue sentinel here. That's, that's some kind of backup, I suppose. You're seriously just going to do this? Well, if I'm, you're going to do that, then I'm just going to go out here, then... <laughs> No, I mean... 
Ah, oh, goddamn, sometimes I hate invaders. Wow, you ate that right in the face. Wow, you hit like a pansy, dude. Seriously. Okay, no. I mean, seriously, if you're just gonna do this, I'm just gonna back the hell up and just say, screw it. You're gonna come to me eventually. And if you don't, you got your friends, I can go get mine. If you wanna be a dick about it, I can be a dick about it all you want. <laughs> no, seriously. If you're gonna be a dick about it, I might as well be a dick about it too. <laughs> Maybe this time you'll actually come down here. Or maybe you'll just die right up there. I don't give a crap. <laughs> Seriously, I have my advantages. you darn right I'm going to take advantage of those advantages. He's going to run out of Estes sooner or later, though. I mean, he's been healing up here. That blue Sentinel's doing pretty decent. I could throw the Seed of the Giant down, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Where the hell did the blue Sentinel go, I wonder, anyway? Oh, there he is. <laughs> right in the face. Hey, you darn right I'm gonna stick up for the, my summons. <laughs> They're my buddies. It's the same guy. I, I'll fight you, I'm just not gonna fight you in the middle of a bunch of enemies. Oh, okay, well, I guess we're... <laughs> uh, okay, well, you wanna go up there. I can be a dick just as much as you if you really want me to, I mean. Yeah, this'll be funny. There you go, have fun up there, son. You wanna be a little bitch about it, I will be I'll be one too. <laughs> you just walked into your own crap up there. Oh, I love just watching invaders just get screwed. It's so fun. Knowing that I'm, I used to be that guy. Oh, that was crap. I think I got the last one. <laughs> Thank you, Blue Sentinel Sakumal one two one two. I really do appreciate it. No, seriously. That's why I love Seed of a Giant. <laughs> Seed of a Giant Tree or whatever that's called. It's so wrong to use, but I mean, if they're just gonna sit back there, then, you know, your advantage, that's my advantage. I'm not gonna waste FP on these things. But, well, I should, apparently, because I suck that bad. Screw it, I don't want to be in here any more than you do. <laughs> no, well... <laughs> Hopefully he can keep up. <laughs> I hate to just leave someone back there, but I didn't really want to sit here as long as I could. Ah, yes. Good old-fashioned co-op. Wasn't planning on doing co-op. I just kind of wanted some backup when the invader was there, to be honest. But I'm not going to send the guy back. That's rude. <laughs> you don't do that, you know. Oh, God, that's a thingy. They will put bleed on you very quickly. And that sucks. Oh god, he's up here with the warden already. Warden is not a lady to screw with. As you see right there. I think there's something behind me as well. Aha. The warden is the big one. We really had to look out for the warden is down. We can pretty much just run past the rest of this crap. Uh, yeah, let's just go this way. <laughs> well, that was your typical invasion right there. The invader just kind of going, I'm not going near you because you have summons. And, you know, to be fair, I understand that. But, you know, I have my advantages. You have your advantages. If you're not going to take advantage of your advantages, then... Or if you're going to try and take advantage of yours, then I'm going to take advantage of mine. If I can just target the one up there, which I was trying to do most of the time, I can... There we go. Okay. I didn't... Well, <laughs> that's a ballsy way of going about it. I would not have went that way, sir. What the hell? Oh, I forgot that thing was even there. I 
think there's something coming up on my... No. Wanna make sure that thing was dead, because that thing will explode as a suicide bomber, essentially. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what the hell was that? Something just threw a firebomb at me. You think I'd remember where most of these things are, but I don't actually. Oh, God. Tank and spank, man. Tank and spank. Who is this guy again? I can't even begin to pronounce that. <laughs> I was gonna say, who is this person again? I remember hearing and like seeing the name, but thought they were oh god. Oh I might as well just go this way and get to the next. He just it's like Thank you. Now, if I recall, there's an ambush to the left right up there. What? A host can't fight? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, Jesus, I forgot all of I just said it, too. I j there's a thing up here, and then what does he do? Gets hit right with it. Oh, goodness gracious. I saw it. I just didn't see the other one. That was silly of me. Kind of funny, though, but silly. <laughs> Good gosh, I can't even kill something in a backstab. <laughs> There's the Grave Warden. There's the one of them. I know there's two of them. Oh, for God's sake. Too far away. There should be another one coming down the stairs. To be fair, I think one... Oh, God. I think one of us will die before we get through this place. Actually, I'm kind of hoping one of us will because I'd like to... Like to just, you know... Face the boss by myself, but... <laughs> Also, it kind of like not beat Cathedral of the Deep right now, but uh... Oh well. If I, if there's worse things than- Oh crap, I beat the level! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> yeah, I think he got the train a little late there. It's like, eh, I'm not- I don't think I can do that. <laughs> not from there. Better just run when you run into those things if you can. He's probably going to start to... I hope he remembers there's a trap back there. Seems he does. He's going to the right. That's why I love Warrior Sunlights as a co-op partner. They usually will do everything in the level. And there... Is there a guy on the left still? Or did he come out already? No, he's still there. Sweet. Not really worth it, but I thank you, sir, or madam, for taking me over there. So now, they should be somewhat akin. Oh, great, we're here. 